Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And once again you can probably see I am at another creek here and I'm going to be uh, checking out the area of course for uh, areas to prospect in. And this is not the same stream that I usually go to. We are in a whole different location. So this stream goes through, instead of metamorphic rock, this stream runs through mountains made up of mostly sedimentary and meta-sedimentary -sed rock. So it's going to be slightly it's going to be way different over here. So this creek here runs through sedimentary mountains, and I usually like to prospect in uh, streams that run through metamorphic mountains because metamorphic rocks usually have a whole lot more mineralization. There's just a lot more going on. Sedimentary rocks, are, there's not usually too much that's going on. In this location here, I've only been here once before, and this is actually my second time being here. So you might be asking why I'm here if metamorphic rocks have more mineralization and uh, mineral deposits than sedimentary rock. Well, sedimentary rock by itself usually won't contain many uh, mineral or uh, deposits of metals. So here's a sedimentary rock here. You can see there's, uh, it's, it's everywhere. But in these mountains, in these sedimentary mountains are many fault lines uh, many normal fault lines and a couple thrust faults that go all over through these mountains and some of them have mineral rich um, veins like quartz veins and here is a quartz rock right there now a lot of these fault lines actually cut through this uh, stream here and a lot of these faults if they're old enough and if they've been there for millions of years and if they're deep enough every time the fault would move or break um, if the settings geologic settings were just right when that fault would break, it would generate a whole bunch of cracks, and immediately hot fluids would shoot up through those cracks, and when it would solidify, it solidified into like a quartz vein. So any metals that were trapped in that solution, um, when it hardened, they'll still be there, and that's how you get, um, sometimes you'll get rich mineral uh, vein deposits. So as the fault keeps breaking over and over and over again over thousands of years, each time an event like that happens, it shoots up a vein, Another earthquake happens a couple hundred years later, maybe. You get another crack in another vein. So it just keeps repeating. You'll get vein uh, structures all over the place on a single fault plane. And there are areas around here where there are some actual rich uh, mining activities going on. But that's mainly further to the east from here. The other thing that can happen is you'll have magma intrusions. There are some magma intrusions in these sedimentary rocks as well, and those can bring up all kinds of good minerals and metal deposits. And at the top of those magma uh, chambers, when they solidify, uh, they'll be, well, they're called plutons when they solidify, uh, as they're starting to get into the final stage of cooling, there's like little mineral uh, vein shoots that they shoot off all over. So um, as, ho as uh, water was interacting with this magma body as it was cooling, uh, it'll there's uh, hydrothermal veins that usually surround these plutons. And there's actually some mining, again, mining activity. And it's mainly silver that they're taking out of it. But deep in the mountains, you'll have the top of a pluton. And then you'll have all these little veins, hydrothermal veins, all over the top of it, maybe pegmatites. And that's what they're mining into. They're mining and following those vein deposits because they're loaded with silver. And there is a little bit of gold. And this stream, actually, there's been gold that has come out of here, out of this creek here. So I know there is gold present. So not too far from here is a fault line. Now I'm going to go see if I can find it. But here, let's check out the rocks in the stream here. So here's some quartz I already showed. Um, as I said, these mountains are made up of sedimentary rock, but mostly metasedimentary, which means it's slightly metamorphosed, but not enough to completely change the rock itself. So if I come over here, you can still see the layers and banding in this rock. See that? I can still tell that this is, you can still see the bedding planes when the sediments were deposited uh, several millions of years ago. And this rock is actually slightly metamorphosed into a quartzite. So this rock was made up of sandstone and it got slightly metamorphosed into uh, quartzite rock. This rock here, this might be a mudstone. Uh, it looks like maybe mud cracks, maybe, uh, that make up this stone here. So this is probably a mudstone. There's probably a couple limestones in here, but it could also be siltstones. 
And these rocks, um, they're pre-Cambrian in age. Okay, so searching for the fault, I noticed this runoff stream kind of kind of roading through here. It looks like, and this could be the location of the fault line because uh, faults are areas of broken rock. So that rock is going to be highly fractured, which makes it really easy for water to come through those fractures and kind of move along the loose material. I'm not sure if this is the fault zone. It's kind of hard to tell. There's vegetation everywhere, so it's hard to identify a fault, but this is pretty cl uh, close to the location where they say it's at on the geologic map. Okay, so I'm pretty much on top of where they say the fault is. So, when looking at the map, it doesn't look like the fault is very old. It looks like it's relatively uh, geologically young because the fault does not um, offset older layers. So sedimentary rock has layers and there's different formations that they organize it into. So let's say you have the A formation, the B formation, the C formation. Uh, if it's a pretty old fault that's been active in the past, you might see where that fault is. On this side you might have the D formation and on this side you might have the A formation which shows that it's offset tons of layers. But this fault in particular has not even offset itself. So on one side you have, you'd have the A formation, and on the other side you'd have the A formation. So it hasn't really moved much. So with th that being said, I'm not expecting to really find um, any minerals, any uh, vein signs, any quartz rock. But I'm pretty much at the top of this rock face where the fault should be. And looking at all the rock that's kind of eroded down, except this one here, almost looks like a... I don't know, there's some, that's a vein, that's quartz. So, that's a promising sign, because that rock obviously rolled down the hill from somewhere, but that's the only one I'm really seeing. And who knows how far that rolled from, but I'm not really seeing any mineralized rocks along with any quartz veins here. This is just mainly just sedimentary rock here. I'll keep looking though. But if you are looking for a load, like load gold or load deposit, and you're trying to find to see if there's a quartz vein up, up there somewhere in the rock, uh, you should always start looking at the rock that's come down already. These rock piles. If there's lots of quartz mixed in with the other uh, parent rock material, it's very likely there's a good vein up there somewhere. But again, looking at here, it's just mainly lots of uh, sedimentary rock. There's more sedimentary rock. It looks pretty fractured, so I'm pretty sure I'm close to the fault zone here. Uh, it could also just be fractured due to the weathering. But the next best thing to look for, if not um, fault zones in sedimentary rock, you should look for contact zones where granite bodies have intruded next to the sedimentary rock. And you can try to see if, if there's any contact metamorphism along with uh, any vein deposits that have formed due to that contact metamorphism. And there's actually a granite intrusion not too far from here but it'll be a little bit of a hike so i'll see if i can get to that location okay i just found this really nice rock outcrop here and again looking at the material that's already come down i spotted this here this big chunk of quartz right here right out of the vein now I did mention that you can there is a there is gold around here not, not much but in some areas there is quite a bit of it actually but the more uh, more common thing that you can find here is silver along with copper and galena and lead but this looks pretty good here so I'm going to try to see if I can find where it came from hopefully right up here somewhere so I'm going to have a look around but that looks pretty good right there and coming right over here oh yeah look at that it's everywhere. We got big, big quartz all over. Some good looking stuff. Don't know if there's anything in it, but you never know. That's why you prospect. You look around for deposits, you sample until you find the mother load. But this is looking pretty good. It's getting me excited, even though the end of the year is pretty close. I mean, we already had our first snowfall, so I'm not going to be able to come out here and do this very much uh, here pretty soon. That's some pretty good looking stuff. Using my rock to support myself here. I mean, not my rock, my rock hammer. This uh, hillside's pretty steep. There's some more quartz right up there, so it's gotta be right up here somewhere. See where that vein's at. 
but yeah, I gotta do this to pull myself up without killing myself. <laughs> All right, so I made it up here and where is it? There it is, right there. I found it. Oh, yeah, it's pretty uh, rotten stuff, but yeah, the vein's right here. But here it is again, right here. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. Big old thick vein. Not really seen any uh, anything else in it besides it just being a simple old quartz vein, but you never know. Might take a couple samples with me. I don't have anything to break this down with though yet. That's gonna be maybe a winter project. See if I can build myself a rock crusher and crush up a lot of this stuff here, but yeah, this is the vein here. The other thing the vein can do, since it was hot, since since this was hot fluid going through the sedimentary rock, could have altered the surrounding sedimentary rock just a bit here. Looking over here, it looks like it kind of did. I see some iron oxidation, some yellow. So definitely some stuff going on here. So now that I've discovered this vein, I'm gonna take note of this location and I will return back to it eventually. Oh, to show you this piece here, lots of iron oxidation going on. This looks like a good piece. I think I'll take this as a definite sample, but there's lots of iron oxidation mixed in with this quartz rock, so I'll take a sample of this definitely out of here. This is more mineralized looking rock here. Not really standing in quartz, but again, these mountains, they probably contain thousands upon thousands of quartz veins, and if they all contained gold or valuable metals, they wouldn't be worth anything. So just because there's quartz doesn't necessarily mean there's gold, but it's a pretty good indicator. Usually you find most gold and quartz very common, and there's a quartz chunk right there intermixed with uh, surrounding sedimentary rock. All right, so I decided to turn around and head back the way I came because one, that intrusion I was gonna take you guys to is a pretty far walk, and I've got less than an hour left of daylight, so I don't wanna be out here in the dark. <laughs> Things come out at night, you know. All right, so this is interesting. We got a, a big concrete dam of some sort here. There's a, right behind me, there is a, some kind of cylinder uh, metal structure. So this might be a stream gauge of some sort where they monitor uh, how high the water rises or drops. But right here, something like this could be, if you wanted to, an area to Maybe look for some gold. Maybe, maybe not. Some more quartz right there. Well, this will conclude it for today. It's starting to get pretty dark, which is another sign that winter is on the way. We did find that quartz vein, though. That was pretty sweet near that fault. Wasn't expecting to find any veins near that fault because I thought it was geologically young, but it must have, uh, whenever it formed, must have been just right to uh, have that happen. Um. Again, these mountains are sedimentary rock. There's lots of that everywhere. That's what these mountains are mostly made of. There's a couple granite intrusions here and there. So uh, this is a huge area to check out. So I'll be definitely coming back here. There are many faults and veins all over in here. There's definitely gold that can be found here. So I will definitely be returning here. Well, again, that, this concludes the video. Uh, hopefully you might've learned something new, maybe not, but uh, definitely plan on coming out here. And maybe when I do, or wherever I go, maybe we'll finally find the gold. And hopefully I can crush up some of these quartz rocks and see if there's anything in there. So I hope to see you all soon, and take care. I was just driving along, and happened to notice this real quick. See that? The hillside right there? That is a vein, so let us go check it out. Looks like someone was here before I was, so maybe someone else knows what they're looking for means there's competition. All right, make my way up here. Follow his footsteps, footsteps and here it is. And that is definitely a quartz vein. But what is going on here? What is this stuff? Seems pretty rotten.
Ooh, that is some shiny stuff there. This stuff is pretty rotten. I can't tell if it's a granite or if it's just mineralization around the vein, but there's some shiny stuff in there. There's some biotite, uh, micas, looks like some sulfides. It's pretty dark now, but lots of mineralization here. I believe this might be a, forgot the name of it, but a rotting granite? It's quite dark now, actually. It's hard for you guys to see what's going on here, but this looks like a really rich area. I'm right above the vein. Man, there are veins all over the place right here. See that stuff there? My light on my camera is kind of blocking it out because it's so dark now, but... Some really dark stuff right here. What is that? There's something going on here. It's hard to tell though. There's more quartz vein right up here. Big chunk of it. Yeah, this is a huge vein area here. Lots of mineralization. And I was just on my way home. I just finished up the video, so. This is pretty amazing looking stuff. I'm gonna have to go on the geologic map and see what roughly is in this location because I can't tell if this is um, where the granite is or if there's a fault here. But there is loads of quartz and I can't tell if that's mica or what this is but there's like this silver coating and a darker gray coating all over the rock. All right, so it's getting dark. So uh, for those who stayed this long, thank you and I'll see you again soon.